Hello and welcome to this bomb portal training series presentation where we are continuing to look at in depth the features and best practices of this application. In this video we are looking at the bomb portal issues panel. Our objective in this presentation is to show the purposes, uses, and features of the bomb portal issues panel. The purposes of the issues panel is to first identify in a clear and precise way all the bomb issues. These issues are centrally located, clearly organized, and easy to navigate. Lastly, these issues are then broken down by specific categories by manufacturer lifecycle, compliances, supply chain, and sourcing. The only constant you have in your PCB design is chain. It's becoming more and more difficult to successfully design a PCB. What is meant by that is designing a product for your customers which can be used for years to come. It's a major challenge we all deal with. It's not a question of getting your product through the design phase anymore. It's about sustaining your product lines with viable components maybe years down the road. The issues panel nicely captures these constant changes in the design process. This vital information is nicely consolidated into its own area. And lastly, a key point here is that this is something you want to check constantly during the PCB design process. This information changes every single day, especially in the sourcing of your components. Having this knowledge is half the battle. It gives new meaning to Francis Bacon's quote, knowledge is power, because with this information, the issues panel provides for you. You can now make better decisions on your design components that you have chosen. Let's take a deeper look at this fascinating panel and how to use it. In a way of a short review, on this panel we have the settings and controls which we have discussed in another video. We also have the indicators showing fatal errors, warnings, and no issues. You can change these columns shown by using the column display preferences. Keep in mind that the bomb settings have an impact on how the data or the information is shown. This can be found under the Eclipse and hitting bomb settings. In this panel, you are able to set up the production quantity, the due date, and the suppliers that you wish to work with. Make sure these are set up correctly before making any changes on your bomb. The bomb portal conveniently analyzes your data based on criteria. First, manufacturer life cycles, compliance, supply chain, and bomb data. The first one we wish to take a look at is the manufactured life cycle. In this area, it looks at the components that are reaching end of life. Your first indicator that a component should not be used in a design is it will give you a warning saying not recommended for new designs. When this occurs, it is best practice to begin to find a replacement. It is also beneficial for you to identify the product lines that these components may be used in. The next area is your compliance. This area identifies the components that do not have REACH or ROHAS compliance. Keep in mind that ROHAS has been adopted and is required in several states in the U.S. It would be recommended for you to research that, taking the necessary steps if that is required. The next area is your supply chain. This is a consolidation of the information that we saw on the supply chain panel that we talked about in a previous video. This will show you your no suppliers or insufficient stock. A major challenge that we all have today is the sourcing of our components. Fortunately, Bomb Portal has provided a way of identifying those components that have long lead times. This first off is a part of the reason that you first set up in your bomb settings your due date. The bomb portal then analyzes your bomb based on that due date and then identifies those components that have the long lead time and will overshoot that date that you have set. The last area is your bomb data. This looks at your bomb and determines what information may be missing and required. Now you are able to easily filter down into this data by hitting all issues. This will clear your bomb. From there, you can then select any filter that you wish to show the details. So for example, here we have a missing part number. How this could be dealt with, you simply double click on this manufacturer part. You can go into the advanced settings. Now I'm just going to copy the part number. We have an option. We can then use that and that it becomes now the part choice for this component. As you can see, the bomb issues area has now been cleared and has fallen off our list. 
To use another example, supply chain has no supplier. We can easily then double click on our part number. This will pull up our part choice list that we have attached to this component in our library, and we can make a better option here. Keep in mind that the bomb setting that you have chosen for the production quantity, it will affect your results here. Let's go through one more example, looking at the manufacturer lifecycle and the issues that we have there. We see here that we have two components that are not recommended for new designs, and yet another one that has gone obsolete. Those are now on our bomb list. We can then double click on this part number. We can make other choices. We can choose the advanced parameter information, and we can then select another component and use this. While you work through the issues on your BOM, you may find the situation, for example, that you have an obsolete component here. When you look at the part options that are available to you, you have the same situation that there is zero stock. Looking at parametric search, the same results occur. Trying your alternates results in no solutions either. This is the exact situation that many designers are seeing today. The part procurement is becoming more and more difficult. In this situation, the solution may be to design another component into your PCB. Your main objective of using the issues panel is to identify the problems that you have with your BOM and then to find a solution for each one of them. To bring back your entire BOM view, you simply click all of the issues. Your entire BOM can now be viewed.